we're somewhere in Montana. <laughs> We've got our fly windows open. Check that out. You can't find those anymore. Right, Trev? Okay. It's nice and cool and refreshing. It's our first morning in Montana, Glacier National Park. This trav just getting up. It's really a very remote place. Looks like we're surrounded on three sides by mountains. I think that's looking south. That's west. There's the lake trap. I knew there was a lake out there. We couldn't see it last night. It's a secluded campground. There's signs warning about bears coming into the campground. You gotta be very careful about not leaving any food out. And we decided to go with the smaller tent. It was only about 35 degrees last night. You could see your breath in the air. But uh, we thought the smaller tent might be a little bit warmer, might retain the heat a little better. We're at the U.S. Canadian border north of Glacier National Park. We have no passports. Travis has no ID. We're just walking through the parking lot. We don't think they're going to let us in. They don't have like Canadians with big guns, do they? The Royal Mounted Police. Is that what Canadian police are? Okay, so like that's the border, and that's Canada. We're gonna go walk up there and see what they say to us. It's the International Peace Park, so we're gonna walk over here and make peace with the Canadians. I think they like us anyway. We're not at war with Canada right now, are we? I don't know, but you're in all black. I got my Salamander Drake t-shirt on. That's sure to get me in. Alright, this is as far as they'll let us go. There's Canada. So close yet so far. They told us that life is... What's that? Which fence? Well, I guess we're standing on the international border. International boundary. Hey, you're right. That's Canada. So we can go right up to here 
The guy said we can go to the island though. It's another five feet. And they told us at the United States side, he said, life is full of choices. Like, do we want to go past this line right here? This line in the sand, life is full of choices. There's Trav. See, I'm in Canada right now. I'm, here's the international no, he said we could go to right here. All right, well, I'm in Canada. Well, what about that sign? Oh, so the boundary runs from there to here, so we can go to like right here. Dad, stop. Right here, I'm on the boundary. No, I'm in Canada! I stepped into Canada! And Trav's in the United States said, you want to step into Canada? No. So it goes right through there. All right, that's the cross cut that they were talking about. It's just a border. I guess. I just cuts. The important job of cutting down all the trees. Just cuts right through there. Okay, I'm inching my way towards it. Ah, we're back in the good old United States. Thank God. That was a tough time in Canada. Two days later. Hey look, they're playing. That's Jackson Glacier. down there. St. Mary's Lake. Seems like it never ends. We're on the other side of the camping. We read a sign that says there's only 26 glaciers left in the park out of the 150 that were here in 1850. Those are shrinking. And the ones that are here are shrinking. They're back.